Okay, this is Dr. Kai, this is me, and this is the completely sober guide to uh, something, to, to this. The completely sober guide to guessing the best DK2 VR experience, colon, semicolon, g colon, I don't know, guide slash compendium for NVIDIA users. You know that name's too long, we're just going to call it the completely sober guide to DK2 and VR experience, getting, something like that. And I'm Dr. Kai, and and I'm completely sober, as usual, and this is because all I've had to drink is wine and we all know that wine does not have an alcoholic effect. Thank you. Okay, and it's only 12.30pm so there's no way I wouldn't be sober right now. <clears throat> okay, um, so what are we doing? Oh yeah, so in this video I'm going to go through my post and just make a video describing how to do these things for some people that prefer to do it that way. I don't know. I personally don't. I prefer to just read. But, you know, you could be very different from me. And you probably are. Okay. So we'll start with enabling adaptive VSync. So this is the thing. If you read, I'm not going to read all this out to you because you can read. But basically, this is the thing that changes the different levels of frame rates that are allowed by the game. Without this, the game only can drop from 75 straight down to 60 and nothing in between. When 60 is horrible, 60 is like Jada. Um, and this allows it to go down to 65, 70, whatever it wants. And all you get instead is tearing, which on the Rift looks really nice actually. You have to try it. So, this is what you do you go to NVIDIA Control Panel, like so. You go to Manage 3D Settings, and then you wait. And you wait, and you wait. And uh, you sing while you wait. I just don't know what to do with my... Si okay, that's it. Nope, no, no, I'm still waiting. I don't know what... Oh, okay, fine. And the way to do that is you go down to here, Program Settings, Manage 3D. You find Elite Dangerous in the list. If it's not there, you click Ads, and then you find the EXE, which I'll show you where that is at some point in this video anyway. Then you go to the last, second last line, Vertical Sync, and you change it to Adaptive. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. That's my talking. Right, <clears throat> and then you click apply, and then that is already applied. Now when you do that, the game will often crash on startup. Not during the game, but on startup. You might find you try and open the game and it brings you that crash log thing. And uh, and you don't have to worry, just keep trying. It could happen even ten times, but then it'll eventually get going and you will reap the benefits. And that's not why, don't you worry. Okay, good. Okay. Second step, color settings. I'm going to show you some comparison screenshots in a minute. But, um, yeah, you go to um, adjust desktop color settings. You click your rift, which is not here right now because I haven't turned it on. But this is what you do for, you click rift. You know, maybe I should just turn it on. I don't want people getting confused. Bum, 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 bum. Rift is now on. Are you still seeing what I see? I just see something cool. Watch this. Oh no! It's the infinite mirror effect. Look at how that spirals. Cool. Okay. Um, so you click on the Rift and you click use NVIDIA settings and you copy this. I've got it down to 30. That seems pretty good. You contrast down to zero. You leave your gamma. And you put your digital vibrance up if you want. That bit's a bit more optional. Um, a lot of people have actually said that this is a horrible, horrible setting and this is fine already. In which case, you don't have to do this. But if you're seeing smearing, which is when you look at the shadow of a planet um, against the light side of the planet and you move your head and you see that bleed into the planet, that's not a good thing. So, um, Okay. The sweet effects. This is my favorite one. So what you do... As you go to this guy's thread, Atlas974, <clears throat> um, and you click on his, you click, you click here, that's it. Okay, and then you hit Control S, which is your save button, and you click 
key, open it, open it, open it. It might look different in your browser, but I'm sure you know how to open files. If you don't, I can make a separate video for that. Okay, then you go to my computer, you go to where, whichever drive you installed it, and then you go to users, and you find you, mine for some reason is admin, but yours is probably your name, that your username. And then you go to app data, and you go to local, and then you go to frontier underscore developments, and then you go to products, then you go to force dev, whatever number you've got, be different for everyone, <clears throat> and then what you do is you select everything, and you drag it in, like thusly, and you click replace. And now Sweet Effects is going to be working. The only thing is, you need to now put in the setting. Oh, wait, wait! This program, Winra. Have you not got Winra? Winra. You must have Winra because it's very important. It allows you to open RAW files like this. I C O H R underscore blah 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 dot raw file. It's an archive. It's like a zip, but only WinRAR opens it. Um, so to get that very quickly, very quickly, you go to WinRAR. You do a Google search. It's the raw lab one, and then, and then if your internet's faster than mine, you'd be there already. Then you pick one of these top two. Either well, unless you're on like Linux or some crazy, stupid, smelly thing like that, and then you click on the one you want. And then you download and you install. I'm not going to do that because you know how to do that. Okay. So then what you do is you go to my post and you pick my settings. Wait, no. My post. And you pick my settings. You select the whole thing. Do, 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 do. Don't overshoot. Don't ever want to overshoot. It's like super cruising. It's very bad. You click copy. And then you open the suite FX settings. And you go control A. Control V, or however you like to copy and paste. Control S for savings. And uh, voila. You now have a very, very sharp, sharp game. And if you want to do something really cool, then you download the program that I've put at the bottom of my post called, 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 it's a long post, isn't it? The Sweet Effects, the Lazy.net configurator. Okay, and then when you open that, which I shall do uh, now, um, sweet effects configurator. It, ooh, oh, stupid. Sweet effects configurator, and then you can just run it straight from the raw file because it's a it's a, a portable program. Add new game. Add your elite dangerous. When you click on it, you now get a GUI, and you'll see that the only two things that are active in my slash Atlas's thing is Luma Sharpen and SMA. Um, and then you can fiddle with the results yourself. And then what you do, if you click automatically save on changes, so when you change something, let's say we change that to 1.61, yeah, it now changes straight away. And then you go back into your game, which is still open, like you Alt Tab, and then you go back into the game and you press Page Down, and whatever you just changed will now reflect in the game. So you can experiment and find something you like. But between you and me, we've already nailed it, so you're just gonna waste your time. Good. Good, 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 good. So that's sweet effects. That is stunning. <clears throat> Number three, DSR. Okay, there's two methods. I'll go through both of them now. The first one is to go to manage 3D settings, like before. And then you go to global settings. You go to DSR factors. You tick the ones you want. Click OK. Change that to 33, because it probably will be, but that has actually got quite an impact on your frame rate. So even turning that down would be good, although it does kind of look nice. Although a bit blurry, so it's actually one of those personal things, you know? Those things that aren't objective and people like me and you just don't completely understand. Excuse me. Right, it's time for some more um, water. <clears throat> My animals are going crazy, by the way. I think, I think they're drunk. Okay, good. So, okay. And now you'll see, when you go to change resolution... Oh wait, you didn't click apply. No, 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 no. Apply. Everything go black for a second. Ah, we lost, we lost. Okay, here we are. And then you go to change resolution and there you go. You've now got them. For some reason, not all of them, but the other two have made it there for some reason. Um, anyway, so now when you go to the game and you change the resolution to that, and the game will put it into, into 1080p, but it will uh, first process... The, the images in that and it will make it look very very nice. It's a type of edge smoothing methods 
very nice. Um, but this one's quite slow. So what I personally do is I don't have that. So you turn that off. Dun, dun, dun. Bye bye. Everything's going to go black again. Get ready. Oh god, wait, Schmoss. Always above the apply button, that guy. Oh no, where are we? I can't. I'm lost. Okay. And then we. Ah! And we're back. Well, how about that? How about that, indeed? Oh, I got scared for a moment there. But we're still recording. I wonder how that's going to even look on the recording device thingy. Okay, so that's done. We've clicked apply. No, we haven't. Are we going to go lost again? Ah! Find your mummy and hold her hand. There you go. Alright. So, Oculus Rift comes back on. And then, so this is how you do the other method of DSR. Wait, are these all still here? That shouldn't be. Okay, so you go to your Oculus Rift, and you go to Customize, and then you make these profiles like I've made here. Um, <clears throat> let's do one. So you go and what you do is you click Create Custom Resolution. Sorry, shush, doggy. And then you pick your resolution. You're gonna make a resolution to pick your resolution. <laughs> one one eight three is the lowest. Refresh rate. Everything is all default properly. So you just click Test. It goes. Duplicate. Oh, okay. So it's two one one two one one eight eight. Test. And you save. I'm um, good. Now the same thing. You go into the game. You pick one of those high resolutions. Click apply. And everything looks nice and hunky dory. Very good. And that in combination with um, uh, adaptive VSync works extremely well. You get rid of. You get a very nice sharp image, um, and when it decides to try and get slow, like it will do, like in stations, instead of going down to 60 and judder zone and vomit and cleaning up and hiring cleaners and, you know, all kinds of problems, um, you just you just get this, like, sort of watery effect, which only shows, a, like, a little bit, um, barely noticeable, and it's manageable and it looks nice and you get your nice sharpness even in stations, especially if you do a bit of overclocking. Excuse me. All right. Okay. Core parking. <coughs> so core parking is uh, this. You download this um, this piece of program. Mm, yeah, which I've prepared earlier. I gotta sort this out. I think. Um, and then you just run it. You, you can run it straight from the RAW file, by the way, because again, it's a portable program. It unparks CPU.exe, you do check status, and it checks your registry values, and then you sing da 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 but you do unpark all, and it will rewrite the registry, and that apparently has some great effects, especially if you've got a fast CPU. Okay, change HUD colors. All right, this is a complicated one. You go back to your um, Elite Dangerous folder. You find your graphics configuration. You make it a bit bigger. Control F G Y. There you go, G Y color. That's what you want. And you just change these three values on each line to that. Trust me, that's the best. I've been through so many. And this is the only one that your enemies are still red, um, your unknowns are still yellow, your knowns are green, and the only downside is you can't read these um, unavailable text messages. But trust me, you want to do this because changing to green is exactly how text should be displayed on the Oculus Rift in a way that can be read. Orange is the exact wrong way, and that is that. Okay? Try it, you'll see, you'll be blown away. Anti-tropic filtering, okay. I don't need to show you how to do that. All I need to show you is where it is. Manage 3D settings. I've shown you already. And then you wait. Program settings. Elite Dangerous. And you just copy all that. I've already made a bunch of lovely pictures for you. Planet textures. Okay, this is a cool one. Um, in the graphics what thing again. Same one as before. So scroll up. Uh, not just scroll up. Scroll back in the video. You go Control F. Planet. Okay, and then what you want to be doing for your ultra and your high and your medium, you want to change them 
to something nice. Like, um, I changed that one to 8196. And I changed that one to... Wait, 4096. 81... Oh, we have to do some maths. 4096 times 2 is 8192. Okay, I was close. 8192. Okay, and if you want to change the work thing to one of these values to get a bit less judder, then go for it. Although you're going to see some pop up, which is never a good thing. Okay, and you click save. And you have to do that. You have to do that, and the GUI changes. And, 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 uh, and, uh, uh, what was the other one? Sweet effects. Every time there's an update. So I had to do it last night because there was an update last night. 1.2. 0.6 or something like along those lines. Okay, getting your IPD right, I'll do that very quickly. I'm not going to show you how you do it because I can't. But um, you open your Oculus Config Utility tool thingy, Bob. You go, you set your eye relief to how it is. You let because the program needs to know hasn't got a sensor. So you, if you normally have it in the middle, then good. Then you go advanced, measure, and you follow the steps. And then you click close, and that's it. Physics by CPU, physics. We're going to change the physics to be handled by the CPU, okay? Back to your NVIDIA control panel, put figures around a physics, and change that to CPU and click apply. Update your drivers, and then the rest of the steps I don't need to show you. So that is my video. I'm just going to show you a couple of quick programs. So for example, this one, um, you go to... You go to the same folder where graphics configuration XML is, and you go to app config. Oh, 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 oh. And you put in this. Copy. And then, uh, oops. And then click enter right after app config. Control V paste. And that should work. Okay, but you want to change that to my settings. So it's 960, 180, 180. So, 960. No, that's too much. Hey, cool, look, we can recycle numbers here. There we go. Okay, and click save, close, and then you'll get your second window. The thing is, if you've got sweet effects on, it won't work. So, press page up or delete sweet effects, whichever you want, and then you'll be able to see. This is great for recording, which is how I'm recording my Elite Dangerous Quick Guides and fun stuff. Okay, but now let me show you a trick. If you go to the second thing, this one, <clears throat> see that program there? You've got a download over there. Once you download it, you go to EDDS, meow meow. Sebastian wants to be in the video. Now you've got this program. So what it lets you do is it lets you file, you create an Oculus Rift configuration, which is say this. You can do file save as Oculus Rift default. You can put in your color settings like I showed you a bit back, which is step one of this, step two, three, four, I don't know. Um, you can change your resolution and you save all these. Now what you do before you start the game, click apply. And then when you start the game, it will take all these settings. You can even have the second window, which I just showed you not 25 minutes ago or five minutes ago, maybe. I don't know. Um, and you can enable a custom binding if you're like not going to use your thrust master. And then if you want to like load the game another time, but this time have it just on the monitor, then you can have a separate group of settings just for that, which you do in the same way. Amazing tool, I love it. I don't know why you haven't got it yet. You're stupid idiots. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I love you. I love. Do you love me? I love you guys so much. <sighs> Okay, this has been my um, graphics configuration, super elite, completely sober guide to getting the best DK2 VR elite amazing compendium guide experience for NVIDIA and not AMD, AMD users. I've been Dr. Kai. I'm now going to go and put some ice on my forehead and have a nap. Don't know why.